I want you to do a little thought experiment with me today. This is all about building characters and what acting is all about. Join me after the bump. Hello, I'm Doug Fall, your augmented actor, helping you augment your acting career with tips, tactics, and tech. I've been thinking about what acting is about, what life is about, and how those two relate to each other, and creating characters and all that sort of thing. And so I wanna kinda of combine all that together in a little thought experiment, so come along with me. First thing I want you to do is to just imagine that every single thing in your life, every word you've ever spoken, every action you've ever taken, every person you've ever met, is all just a script for a play. Your entire life is written down on paper in a script. That means you have no free will, your destiny is written, your story has a beginning, a middle, and an end, and you, the character, the lead character in this story, you don't know that you're in a play. Now imagine that an actor is playing the part of you in this play. This actor knows your entire past, they know everything that's going to happen in your future. They have memorized every word that you're ever going to speak. They know what other people in your life are going to say to you, and they know how you're going to respond. They've mapped out every emotion that you're going to experience, and they've even experienced those emotions themselves. They are part of you. They are guiding you. Like the voice in your head that tells you to feel guilty or, or pleasure or to make a decision or express his emotion. Imagine that that voice is the actor, the actor that is playing this part. Without that actor, you're just a character. You're just words on a page. You're just a blueprint. So that actor is infusing you with life, is infusing you with emotion, is infusing you with free will. Now imagine that that actor has gotten so involved in the character of you that they can barely distinguish themselves from the character. As an actor, you meld with your character. And when you can meld so much that you, you kind of lose yourself, you, you, you are in the moment, you are experiencing things as the character experiences them. That's the state you want to get to as an actor. Now let's step outside of the thought experiment for a moment. In life, we have these experiences of deja vu, of premonitions, uh, weird things that happen that we can't explain, a feeling that we've done this all before. When you think of being in a play, that kind of makes sense. This play has been played before by this actor. You have been through this process before, but because you are the character, you don't realize the master plan. You don't realize the blueprint, the script. You might get this glimpse of the actor that is playing you, and that can cause this sense of deja vu. Now coming at it from an actor's perspective, when you play a character, you want to make sure that that character doesn't react to things in the future, doesn't react to all the research that you've done about this character or about this time period. But still in the back of an actor's mind, they know they've got to hit their marks, they know what's coming up next, and they have to pretend not to react to those things that are happening in the future that the character doesn't yet know about. The character just lives moment to moment. The character doesn't know what's going on. So you as an actor have to infuse that character with your emotions, with your sensibility, and with your pre-knowledge of the story that you're trying to portray. And you have to make that character interesting and unique for an audience's sake. Now let's go back to the thought experiment. Imagine now that this play has been produced and a new actor is cast as a new version of you. Or maybe thousands of actors are playing the character of you nationwide. You might be played by a person of the opposite gender. You might be played by a person from of another race. You might be played by an older person or a younger person than you identify with now. As a character, that might manifest itself in thoughts of, wow, that wasn't like me, or that's something I would never do, or oh boy, I had to overcome that fear. When you look at it from an actor's point of view, it shows you that you can play a character in many different ways. That the blueprint of that character's story may be 
solid and written in stone, but you have the freedom to express those words and those actions with your own emotions and your own background and your own acting abilities. It might be depressing to think that your whole life story is laid out already. You, the character that's being played. Your story's written, you have no free will. Even though your story has been laid out and you apparently have no free will, if you think of your life like a play, you might not have the free will to change your story, but you do have the free will to act it in a way that's different each time it happens. And therefore, that gives you a little bit of free will. Now let's go further with this thought experiment comparison. Imagine that your life isn't just a play, imagine that it's a film. Now that may seem like it's more written in stone. Uh, an actor, only one actor is gonna get to play you in that film. And that's going to be the, the same experience each time. There's no free will about that. However, that film is going to be shot out of sequence. So the actor playing you is going to shoot the ending first, and then the middle, and then the beginning, and then all the other middle parts out of order. The insight that you could gain by knowing that your ending is being shot first, you could tell your life story at any point in time. Now imagine if your life is a television drama, a television series, you're the lead character in it. Then you have free will because the actor sometimes in a television series can influence the direction that the writers go. So in some sense, even though a script may be written out, the actor and the character themselves can change the direction that that script can be written and even the ending. I like to think of my life as a branching storyline, a virtual reality experience, for instance. Choose your own adventure kind of story where any decision that I make will lead to another option. Now maybe ultimately, destiny, fate will bring me to a specific ending or maybe one or three or four different endings. All these pathways might be written for me already, but the choice of which path I take is up to me the character. I don't really know how to wrap this thought experiment up in a tidy little bubble, but if you think of an actor playing the role of you, it might lead you in life uh, to take different paths as it frees up the actor inside of you to explore other options with how to play the role of you. And as an actor, thinking of characters this way as something you embody, something you jump into to guide through their blueprint, that will give you a, a little room to figure out how to play things differently than other actors might play them. I'll stop right there, but I can encourage you to continue to explore these little strange brain games and start to think of acting in a, a new way, a new direction. And I hope you found something useful in this video. If you did, please tell me what you found useful down in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you and I will answer every comment that you leave. Uh, as always, there are some other videos on here that you might want to watch as well and remember to subscribe. Love you. See you next time.